G'day, my name's Kinetic, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create realistic pillows in Maxon Cinema 4D, 32-bit, 64-bit, doesn't really matter, they're both the same thing. The first thing I want you to do is go to Objects, Primitive, Create a Plane, drag that down a little bit, Copy, Paste, and you want to move that, cop that pasted panel upwards. Objects, Primitive, and add a sphere. Now when you get this sphere you'll need to decrease its size as it's too big for the current scene. So you don't want anything too big, just something small. Once you've done that just drag the top panel down a bit if it's too high and you just want to leave a bit of gap between the sphere and the two planes. So one above and one below the sphere. Next thing you want to do is you want to select both your planes and hit the C key on your keyboard. Basically what this does is this makes both of your panels selectable. And what we need to do is we need to go to our side panel here and use our edge selector and our selector tool. And then all I want you to do is select around the edges. You don't have to be terribly precise with this because we will be deselecting all the little extra inside bits that we do select. Uh, just as a reminder when we are selecting our edges that you hold the shift key to select any additional sides that you may need to when you need to rotate it if you hold the control key that's uh, your deselection key so make sure you don't hold the control key when you need to select any additional uh, parts of the planes uh, just going to do this really quick so I hope you guys don't mind bearing with me for a couple of seconds. That's the bottom one, so now I need to do the top one. Apologise that this is taking so long, but uh, if we want to get it right, we actually do get to select all the edges. It does take a little bit of patience, but with that bit of patience, it turns out some pretty cool results. So, you know, if you are the impatient type, just bear with it. Alright, we're looking all good so far. Now, edges are selected, and we just want to go back to the side here. And just turn it back and, you know, click that here. So we're in object mode. We want to go to our functions, and under functions, we'll have connect with both of our planes still selected. I want you to hit the connect button. So now we've got three different planes. The one at the top is our both conjoint ones, so they are both treated as one object. And the two bottom ones are just separate ones. With the two separate ones you can actually delete those because we'll still keep the, uh, the our two original planes. You're probably thinking, well you just deleted our selections. You actually didn't. So uh, when you go back to your edge selection, it'll still be our edges selected. Now that our edges are still selected, what I want you to do is I want you to go to Structure, Stitch and Sew Tool, and you'll get this little tool pop up next to your cursor. Just want you to click on one corner and drag a line all the way down to the other corner, and your structure will become like this. So it looks like a box. Before we go any further, I want you to right click your sphere, go to the cloth field tags if you have the cloth installed. You want to set a collider tag on that. Don't edit the settings because it doesn't really alter it all too much. Go to your plane, right click that, cloth field tags, and you want to go to cloth. And we just want to leave it sit there for a little, for the meantime. Now, just under our edge selection button here, I want you to click our polygon selection now. And reselect our selection tool. And just select all around the edges. Just remember hold down your shift key so you can select all the additional vertices on this. So now when you go all around the edge you should have a yellow bit there, you shouldn't have missed any bits there. Alright, now that we've got our edges selected, right next to your plane in the object browser where you've got the little t-shirt tag which is our cloth, you click on that, you click on the dresser tool here, and what you've got here, you've got your dress mode, 
relax and dress matic we won't worry about those for now. Your init state, your dress state, your fixed polys and your seam polys. Just next to your seam polys I want you to hit the set button. When you hit your set button it will give you a whole bunch of yellow lines like this just around the edges which is very normal for making pillows in Cinema 4D. Once you've done that and it all looks good, staying in your dresser um, tab under the cloth tribute just hit the dressomatic button and it will automatically compact it into a pillow at which case you are free to delete the sphere or remove it or otherwise and if we render it just quickly in normal view you see it's still got some pretty sharp edges on it so if you want to smooth that out just go to our little submenu here hypernerves and drag the plant under the hypernerves and smooth it out and then render it there so you've got a fairly basic pillow and uh, if you've been following the HDR tutorial that I've done you can also use that as well so I'll just quickly set up the HDR scene for you guys and I'll give you a general idea what it's like, this won't take long so please excuse me for a moment while I do all this but if you haven't checked it out already, do go into my videos and have a look at a earlier HDR tutorial video. Um, it's a very useful tutorial if you've never done it before. And also can make some pretty cool looking renders. And this can all be done straight into the HDR tutorial if you've already done it, so uh, you won't need to worry all too much. Alright, just a couple more steps and we'll be able to render it for you. Do -do -do. It does take a little bit of fiddling around with to get it done, but it produces a fantastic result. So, you know, just a little bit of messing around with here. Alright, put it on the render. Voila. Now I'll slap a texture on it. What we'll do is we'll put a Fresnel on this. Just change the colour a little bit. Drag it onto the pillow. Wrong one. And there you have it. As I said, that's the end of the tutorial. My name's Kinetic, and thanks for watching the video.